Hello everyone, welcome back to online lab session of electronics. Today we will be dealing with a circuit what is called as op-amp as subtractor. That is in the last session that is uh, the first session of experiment number 3 we had uh, uh, designed a circuit where op-amp was used as an adder. So in today's uh, session we will be dealing with op-amp as a subtractor circuit. We know that op-amp can be used as an adder, subtractor, integrator, differentiation, differentiator uh, and so on. So today we are going to use the same op-amp IC and we are going to construct a circuit in which the op-amp will be acting as a subtractor. So what is the definition of this subtractor, op-amp as a subtractor? The circuit in which the output will be equal to the difference of the two input voltages is called as a subtractor. So whatever the voltage I am applying across the inputs that is we are going to use two separate RPS. Each RPS will be named as V1 and V2 and whatever the voltages I am applying through RPS that is V1 and V2 that will be subtracted or the difference of those two voltages will be appearing at the output. So we are going to use the same IC that is 741 IC where pin number 1, pin number 8 and pin number 5 will not be used. Pin number 2 is the inverting input terminal, pin number 3 is non-inverting input terminal. We have to write it, uh, write the full form of this non-inverting since there is no space I have written it as NI. And uh, pin number 7 and pin number 4 are nothing but the pins where we are going to give the power supply for these ICs. Pin number 6 is the output pin. Uh, so this is the notch, to the left of the notch we will be having 4 pins, to the right of the notch again we will be having 4 pins. So this is the circuit diagram what we are using in order to construct op-amp as a subtractor. So pin number 2 is an inverting input terminal and pin number 3 is a non-inverting input terminal. In the previous experiment that is in the session 1 of the third experiment, op-amp as an adder circuit. We had connected both the RPS to the same input terminal of the op-amp. That is, we had connected both V1 and V2 to inverting input terminal of the op-amp. But here, we are connecting V1 to inverting input terminal through R1 and V2 to non-inverting input terminal through R2 and R3. And RF is as usual, it is a feedback resistor which is connected between 2 and 6, that is pin number 2 and 6. Pin number 7 and 4 will be given to plus VCC and minus VCC respectively. If you are going to look at the resistor values R1, R2, R3 and R4, all the resistance values are same. That is the value of all these four resistors are equal to 10 kilo ohm. So uh, we are going to use the resistors which is provided in the board. V0 is nothing but the output voltage what we are going to measure. So this is plus, this is minus. V0 is nothing but the output voltage where I will be getting the difference between the two input signals V1 and V2. So V0 is equal to V1, uh, sorry V2 minus V1. So this is a circuit uh, which will be working as a subtractor. And this is the tabular column where uh, we will be doing 5 different trials, 5 different trials in the sense I will be varying V1 and V2. Uh, accordingly, I'm, we are going to note down the output that is V0 value, that is the experimental value, whatever the uh, voltmeter reading will be, that will be the output voltage, experimental output voltage and theoretical output voltage will be calculated using this formula V0 is equal to V2 minus V1. So according to the circuit diagram, the components what is required for these experiments is 2 RPS, one ready board, ready board in the sense this is the board uh, what we are using to conduct this experiment. So here I am having an op amp and these are the four pins which is to the left of the notch and these are the four pins which is to the right of the notch. And the four resistors uh, whose value is equal to 10 kilo ohms all are present here. So here totally I am having five different resistors out of which I will be using only four different resistors. And this is the voltmeter that is a DC voltmeter uh, which is used to measure the output voltage. So let us try to construct the circuit and demonstrate uh, this circuit which will be working as a subtractor. Let us begin with the circuit connection. Firstly, let us connect plus VCC and minus VCC to the board. So this is the board what we are using here. 
this is the first pin 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and all the 4 resistors whose value are equal to 10 kilo ohms are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here totally I am having 5 different uh, resistors whose values are 10 kilo ohms but uh, for this circuit uh, where I am using, I am constructing op as a subtractor, I will be using only 4 uh, resistors. So, let me use those resistors here itself. So, this is the 4th pin, this is the 7th pin. So, let us begin with connecting 7 to plus VCC and uh, 4 to minus VCC. So, this is pin number 7. So, I am connecting pin number 7 to plus VCC. So, this is the 1 plus 12 volts. Then, 4 to minus VCC. So, this is pin number 4. So, pin number 4 will be connected to minus 12 volts that is the green pin of this dual power supply. So, these are the two RPS what I am using in this experiment. This is a DC voltmeter and this is a dual power supply. Let me mark this as V1 and this as V2. So, let us begin with the remaining connection. Pin number 2 is connected to 10 kilo ohms. So, this is pin number 2. I will be using this as the first resistor. Pin number 2 is connected to uh, 10 kilo ohms and the other end of the uh, resistor will be connected to positive terminal of V1. So, this will be connected to positive terminal. This I am considering as uh, V1. So, I am connecting uh, the other end of the resistor to positive terminal of V1. The negative terminal of the V1 must be grounded. So, this must be grounded. So, let me connect that through a wire. So, negative terminal of V1 is grounded. So, the same uh, pin number 2 is connected to pin number 6 through 10 kilo ohm resistor. So, I will be shorting. So, this itself is pin number 2. Here, I am already having one wire. So, I will be shorting another wire to pin number 2 and I will connect that to another resistor whose value is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Then uh, the other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor that is RF is connected to pin number 6. So, this will be connected to pin number 6. So, the inverting input terminal in the V1 and inverting input terminal in the uh, pin number 6 through RF is done. Now, let us begin with pin number 3. Pin number 3 is connected to R2. This is pin number 3. Pin number 3 is connected to R2. The other end of this resistor will be connected to positive terminal of V2. I uh, will be considering this as V2. So, the other end of the resistor will be connected to positive terminal of V2. The negative terminal of V2 will be grounded. So, this is the negative terminal of uh, V2 that will be grounded. So, this will be connected to common terminal of dual power supply. Later, the same pin number 3 will be connected to ground through R3. So, I am already having one uh, wire in pin number 3. So, this is the wire. So, I will be shorting another wire to pin number 3 and that will be connected to 10 kilo ohm resistor. The other end of the 10 kilo ohm resistor will be grounded. So, this terminal will be grounded. This is the one. After that, pin number 6 will be connected to positive terminal of the voltmeter. This is pin number 6. Pin number 6 is already having one wire. So, I will be shorting this wire to same terminal that will be connected to positive terminal of the voltmeter. So, this is the positive terminal of the voltmeter and the negative terminal of the voltmeter will be grounded. So, the connections are done. So, let us take the readings now uh, for different values of V1 and V2. Let us set V2 as 3 volts. Let us keep it as a constant voltage and let us vary this V1 to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, accordingly we have to note down the voltmeter reading. So, let us begin with this experiment by turning on the power supplies. So, this is V1 and this is V2. Let us set the voltage of V2 to 3 volts and let us keep it as a constant value. So, we will just 
uh, set the V2 voltage to 3 volts using coarse and fine knobs. So, I have set the voltage of V2 to 3 volts. Now, I will be varying this V1 to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Accordingly, we are going to note down the voltmeter reading. So, let me set the V1 voltage to 1 volts. So, this is the first rail where V1 will be set to 1 volts. So, uh, V2 is set to 3 volts and V1 is set to 1 volts. Now, the voltmeter is showing me a reading of 1.96 that is V2 minus V1. V2 is set to 3 volts, V1 is set to 1 volts. So, 3 minus 1 which must be equal to 2 but a voltmeter is showing me a reading of 1.97. Now, let us vary this voltage again that is uh, V1 to 2 volts. Now, for the second trial, V2 is uh, set to 3 volts. I am keeping that as a constant value and V1 is set to 2 volts. Now, a voltmeter is showing me a reading of 0.97. For the third rail, let us vary this V1 to 3 volts. So, after varying the V1 voltage or after setting the V1 voltage to 3 volts, I am getting a voltmeter reading of minus 0, 0.0. That is V2 minus V1 must be equal to 0. So, the same reading is being displayed in the voltmeter. Now, let me set the voltage of V1 to 4 volts. So, V1 will be set to 4 volts. So, this is the fourth trial where V1 is set to 4 volts and V2 is set to 3 volts and the voltmeter is showing me a reading of minus 0 0.98. Now, let us move on to the last trial where V1 will be set to 5 volts. So, V1 is set to 5 volts and V3 is a uh, constant that is uh, 3 volts. Now, the voltmeter is showing me a reading of minus 1.94 volts. Now, after taking all the readings, let us turn off these power supplies by rotating these coarse and fine knob to 0th position and switching on these power buttons which are present in the power supply as well as the dual power supply. So, these are the experimental values what we had got uh, with the help of a voltmeter. Keeping this V2 uh, voltage constant that is to 3 volts and by varying this V1 voltage to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 that is 5 different trials, we got the output voltage as 1.97, 0 0.97 and so on according to the voltmeter. So, this is the experimental value. Now, we have to calculate the theoretical output voltage using this formula V0 equals V2 minus V1. So, you have to show the separate calculation because even that will be carrying a separate marks in your exam. Even though the calculation is very simple, you have to show the calculation part that is the theoretical calculation for each and every trial. So, the first trial, the output voltage V0 equals V2 minus V1 where V2 value is equal to 3 and V1 value is equal to 1. So, 3 minus 2 which is equal to 2 volts. So, we have to plot that reading in the last column that is the theoretical output voltage column. Accordingly, for the second trial, V0 equals V2 minus V1 which is again V2 value is equal to 3 volts. V1 value is equal to for the second trial, V2 value is 3 volts, V1 value is 2 volts. So, 3 minus 2 which is equal to 1 volts. Let us plot this reading over here. So, the output that is the theoretical output voltage is equal to 1 volts. Accordingly, you have to calculate for each and every trial. Let me do the fourth uh, trial calculation. V0 equals V2 minus V1. Here, V2 value is equal to 3 volts and V1 value is equal to 4 volts. So, 3 minus 4 will give me minus 1 volts. You have to carry this negative sign here minus 1. Similarly, 3 minus 3 gives me 0, 3 minus 5 gives me minus 2. So, this is the tabular column for op-amp as a subtractor experiment. Even though the calculations are very simple, you have to show the calculations for each and every trial. So, if you look at this experimental and theoretical columns, 
the ratings are almost matching that is i have uh, for the first trial the experimental value is 1.97 and the theoretical value is 2 which is almost uh, matching and for the second trial output voltage the experimental output voltage is minus 0.97 and theoretical output voltage is 1 so uh, looking into these experimental and theoretical values that is by comparing these experimental and theoretical output voltage columns uh, we can easily conclude that we have constructed op amp as a subtractor circuit and we have uh, verified the experimental and theoretical values experimental and theoretical output voltages values which are matching so this is the third experiment that is in the third experiment we will be having two different sessions uh, in the first session that is in the last session we constructed op amp as an adder circuit and in this session we constructed the same op amp as a subtractor circuit in my next session i will be coming with a new experiment until then take care bye bye